Thank you, Paul. Um, I don't believe that this is a healthcare debate at all. I believe that this is about government control. I believe that's why the vast majority of Americans have come out this month of August and spoke their piece. What I don't hear coming from Washington is what our founding fathers talked about all the time. Freedom and liberty. The rights of the individual. You've talked about rights for the patient, and that's the right way to look at this. They want to make our health care a budget issue in Washington. The public option will kill our rights as individuals and make it a bureaucratic decision. I believe that under the stimulus package, if they were really concerned about health care, they would have provided health care for that 48 million people that they say exist in the country today. The deficit spending that we are currently doing in Washington is going to lead this country to bankers. Please continue to fight for us. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I concur with a lot of what you just said. I think just about everything there. Um, you are losing choices that you already have today under this bill. You, if you don't get your insurance from your job, and by the way, your insurance uh, within five years, whatever you have, must conform with whatever the commissioner defines as acceptable insurance. So, first of all, if you're an individual with a high deductible plan or an HSA, you might like that. A lot of people have it. About 300,000 people in Wisconsin have it. You're not going to be able to keep doing that. If you have a plan, let's say you are in a plan that you've collectively bargained through a union, and you're a union member, uh, particularly like a public employee union. I assume there's some teachers here, um, uh, or, or ask me or something like that. I would be worried if I were in that union. The reason I would be worried if I were in a collectively bargained plan, which I sacrificed lots of wage increases to have good benefits, is do you think the public, the city council, the school board, the mayors, the state legislatures, the public, are going to be interested in letting you continue your benefits, which are already higher than would be offered in the exchange in the public plan? No. I mean, so I think what this is going to end up doing, because of the five-year grandfather period here, is it's going to take the various options, the various kinds of health insurance we have out there in America, and reducing it to a very small standard of one or two kinds of plans. That restricts people's choices, that restricts people's options, and it actually turns upside down a lot of the sacrifices people through collective bargaining agreements and other things have already worked hard to sacrifice for. So to me, not only is this going the wrong direction, it, it, it really goes in the wrong direction because it really does limit the kinds of choices have, people want to have to customize the care that they think is right for them. Uh, Hi, Congressman Ryan. Uh, I don't have the use of my teleprompter, so I'm going to work out some notes. Not using one. Oh, is it me? Is it my mic? Or just stand away from it? Yeah, stand over here with you. I've been voting uh, since 1964, usually for the lesser of two evils. However, I did vote for you in the last election. <laughs> I wasn't set here by any right or left wing group. I'm neither a Democrat nor a Republican. I'm not an evil monger, as Senator Harry Reid has labeled anyone who dissents from his views. I'm also not un American and the swastika carrying member of a mob, as labeled by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I'm a concerned a senior who is outraged in the direction of my country. We now have Harvard-educated people running Washington. I didn't go to Harvard, however, I did graduate at the top of my class, magna cum laude, in accounting. 
I have degrees behind my name. There are degrees on thermometers, and you know where they stick those. <laughs> I just want to let people who aren't on Medicare and don't have gray hair here, just a few of them. But when you turn 65, like I did a couple of years ago, and you go on to Medicare, they take $94 a month out of your Social Security. They also make you pay $134 at the beginning of each year for a copay. That's a total of $1,262 a year, which is a tax on me. Uh, this tax is never going to stop. And under Obamacare, the president wants to cut 20% so he can fund this big package here. That means if the doctor charges 100 bucks, Medicare now pays 80, I pay 20, or my supplemental insurance pays 20. If he drops it by 20%, they're only going to pay $60, I'm going to pay $20, and my insurance is going to pay $20. I am taxed again. I'm going to skip uh, cap and trade and card check. But uh, I want to just, um, I just want to finish this. I want to get to other folks too. Okay. You know, the, the American people were promised change by the administration, and I'll sum up change with a quote from a renowned un-American. From each according to his ability, to each according to his need, Karl Marx. Well, thanks for thinking of me as a, a lesser of two evils. <laughs> Appreciate that, I guess. Uh, um, Okay. Uh, there's a lot I can respond to all of that, um, but I got, I got I wrote it down and I got I got what you take. Um, if you're talking about some of the Medicare cuts, I think you talked a little bit about that. Everybody asked me what those are. Um, I might as well just do it as sort of a public service announcement here. Um, <clears throat> the 500 billion in, in gross cuts uh, don't come from your your benefit packages, a beneficiary. They come from reductions to payments to providers. Uh, 32 billion from skilled nursing facilities, 5.3 from in inpatient rehab facilities, 40 from outpatient hospitals, ambulance services, ambulatory surgical centers, laboratory services, durable medical equipment, imaging, home health, uh, and then the big whopper is the Medicare program. So um, that obviously affects Medicare, the delivery of it, and um, it takes that savings from Medicare and applies it to this new entitlement benefit. And so that's where I get a lot of questions about, about Medicare. Um, 